everybody. This is Mike Walden, and I'm standing here at the southeast portion of the Super Dave compound, and the Super One is on his way over right now to tell you about a special project that he's been working on for weeks. And it's not only practical, but it's very innovative and brilliant. Well, he's arriving right now, and I see with him is Donald Glantz, who is the director of personnel here at the compound. Hey, Hello, Super! Michael. I just gotta empty my tank of the old gasoline. Yeah, and I see, well, I'm doing fine, but great I Great show so far, isn't oh, it? Oh, it's a great show indeed, and I see a lot of fun. Donald is with the camera. What's all that about? Well, it's a very special day, and uh, Donald has decided from now on, whenever we open up a new area in our compound, he's gonna videotape it. And oh. we'll have a library. Okay, that's enough, Donald. So this is another new area. It's a fantastic area, Michael. Uh, as I said, I was uh, just emptying out the last little bit of gasoline for my car because we're going to introduce a new fuel to the public tonight that I think will revolutionize the industry. Well, it, really it looks like a gas station and I can see G-A-R-B-A-N-E. Is that Garbane? Garbane. Uh -huh. That's exactly what it is and uh, this man has developed it. Uh, you know, about six months ago, the North American Highway Patrol Association, Napa. who I worked very closely with, called and they said, Super, we can't stand the problems we're having with gasoline. Prices are too high, uh, pollution is at an all-time high and uh, leaded, unleaded, all this kind of stuff. Can you come up with something new? And I gave this challenge to Donald, and uh, he's come up with something that is brilliant. Well, what did you do, Donald? Well, actually, Mike, what we did was we took uh, methane and propane, and then we mixed it in together with something that everybody has a lot of, garbage. And garbage? That's, that's how we came up with garbage. Uh, it's, it's too simple to think of. I know you're saying, why didn't I think of that? Uh, anyone has been looking for a new fuel. Uh, we've been in direct contact with the North American Highway Patrol Association mm -hmm. uh, trying to come up with a new fuel because gas prices are astronomical. Uh, the problem with our air pollution is, you know how it is, Absolutely. Michael. And uh, the wear and tear on automobiles. So we have come up with, who, who saves garbage? Nobody. Nobody. So why not convert it to fuel? And this brilliant man uh, has done that. I'm going to test it this evening, and we're putting a lot of money into this. Uh, Danny, if you come over with me here, I'd like to show you... Uh, a mile away, if you can see, that is our Garbane Tower right there. And that's where our people are housed right now. Mm -hmm. That's where the Garbane is being manufactured. And uh, if you'll pan over here, that uh, area right here will be the future site of the Garbane headquarters. We're going to have a 40-story hotel, probably the most complete and beautiful hotel in the world. And the people who work on the Garbane project will be able to stay there and really enjoy themselves. It's got to cost billions and billions of dollars, so Garbane's got to be a little on the expensive side. Well, that's what everyone thinks, Michael, but uh, we're doing it every way. Uh, how much does it cost? Ten cents a gallon. No, come on. Right how many how many miles to the gallon? 100 miles to the gallon. I can't believe that. Is that unbelievable? <laughs> now, if you have a 20-gallon tank, you're talking 2,000 miles to the fill-up. They'll come in every two months instead of every two days. So it's, it's beyond brilliant. I can't wait to try it. And this is a very historic night for us. Uh, I know 60 Minutes was here earlier, and uh -huh. a lot of the major news programs, uh, uh, the major magazines have been here. So uh, I can't wait to try it. It's very exciting. Well, this is all full service, too, right? Well, I'll show you some of the other areas. And we're very excited about this, a Garbane travel car. Uh, we've talked to all the major hotels, uh, the fine restaurants, and everyone has said if Garbane works, not only will your travel card get you in, you'll have a 40% discount on everything. That's how excited they are about what we're doing. This all seems too good to be true. Well, uh, wait till you come in here, Michael. Now, one thing you'll notice, I'm sure, is that the air conditioning is tremendous in here. And that's because we've got to keep this machinery cold. Yes. You used to work in a gas station. I did, yeah. Mm -hmm. What was your job, basically? Well, I would just say, OK, go for number six and pay me first, you know. <laughs> you know what was being pumped? No. The quality of the gas. Who knows what it could be? We are concerned here. It's saying this is Spanky. He runs our computer. You've seen him on the show before, possibly. And he's going to be pumping this historic garbage this evening. OK, Spank, if you'll go out there and fill my car. Now, explain this computer, Donald. I'd be happy to, Super. We've taken the same well, amount of care. cold in here. <laughs> you know that. I got short sleeves on. <laughs> We've taken the same amount of care that somebody would at a nuclear power plant, Mike, because this is a computer center that measures all the ratios between the, uh, the methane and the propane and the garbage. And uh, if there is anything that's out of whack at all, even the little bit, it will light up the yellow lights, it will light up the, uh, the red and the blue. Mm -hmm. and so, so in other words, 
We care about you. Absolutely. Red, white, and blue, we care about you. If it's not safe, it's not safe. Great. Okay. Here's a little screen. Uh, well, thank you. You'll be watching this. And uh, if it's no good, it comes up there. Uh -huh. We can see the people working in the garbage plant a mile away. If it's no good, they'll put up. What do they do there? Uh, they have the visual sign this here, which means turn off everything. That means G. Okay. Now, what is this right here? These are products. Uh huh. That's our new garbage motor oil. Okay, how much is normal motor oil in the corn? Oh, it could run from, I guess, two fifty, three dollars. Uh, give me the price of this. Eighty-five cents. Eighty-five cents, and you use one of these a year, right? That's very tough to beat. Now you know, I wonder because of all of this, the regular cars with it. regular so gas. Cold in here. <laughs> I mean, I like keeping the computer on, but it's like a windstorm. What happens if you got a car with the normal gas, regular gas, uh, the expense of changing over, converting to garbage? I know what you're saying. What's the catch? Well, there's got to be. There is no catch. What? No, well, I tell you, I, I, could do, I could fool the people like a lot of people do. Say, come in, we have to take your uh, engine apart, we have to look at it, we have to turn it around, we have to add special parts, and it would cost... Uh, well, thousands of dollars. Thousands of dollars. What have you got? A what is it? Garbivator. A garbivator? <laughs> Absolutely. Yep. Well, this, and uh, can I say what it costs? Three dollars and fifty cents. Three fifty. One a year. See it? Yeah. This is all you need. You put it in your tailpipe, and it converts the combustion in your engine to normal driving. No tools, nothing. Just no wham, tools. Right. You know the negatives are so minuscule in this thing that it almost makes you laugh. Um, I've never been so excited in my life. I've done a lot of stunts, but you know the reason I'm on this earth is to help the environment and to help people and to help my fans. And when we get through this evening, I think we'll uh, have broken quite a lot. Uh, Super, you say something about some negatives. You just kind of passed over it. There are a few oh, drawbacks. Very, what are the negatives? Oh, sure, there's this. Uh, well, I mean, there's garbage within the mixture, so there's going to be a slight smell. Uh, we mentioned... Does that, that smell? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. It's smell. He's the closest to it, and it's, it's no problem. There's a slight ping, as we said, with the transmission, but the transmission fluid should take care of that. Uh, if you can just be a little more alert when you're filling up this kind of car with garbage, not to overflow it, because it will have a tendency to uh, take the paint off the car. And, of course, watch your shoes, because it'll turn right to your feet. Yeah. Yeah. We're, gonna, we're working on a garba guard, that's right. which will put the garbage back in, so you won't do that anyway. So be careful when you're filling it at first. All right, Donald, uh, it's a very historic evening. What I'm going to do, if you will put this into the tailpipe, I will drive over to my stunt. I'm very excited, and uh, it's a big evening. I almost feel like crying. <laughs> well, it's, I mean, you've been working on this project to the finally the fruition of all of your efforts. Well, thank you very much. Okay, just... Okay, I officially make this a Garbane car. Super? Yes. Do you mind if I get this on film here? Maybe a little 10 second commercial? We're on television now. I got a hey, stunt to do. Super, it's only 10 seconds. Come on. Come on, Super. Just 10 second commercial for Garbane, huh? That's a, what a moment. Spanky, oh. Spanky, can you get out of the shot, please? Great. Guys, we're going to have to move way back here. Way back. Boy, this is exciting. <laughs> I've got goosebumps. <laughs> what a good night. What do you want me to do? Like a commercial? Uh, yeah, just 10 seconds on all uh, the great benefits. Hi, this is Super Dave Osborne, and I'd like to say a few words about the fuel of the future, garbage. Sure, there's some negatives. A slight ping, maybe a little odor. And yes, if you spill it on yourself, it's like molten lava. But the positives far outweigh the negatives. Great gas mileage, fantastic cost, and you're helping the environment and your car engine. So when you think about it, I don't know any real reason why you shouldn't be using Garbing. Do you? That's great, Super. Can you start it up for us now? Sure.
course, Hans, I'm perfect. Why shouldn't I be? The only thing that happened is I went from the driver's seat into the trunk like a blazing torpedo. I'm fine. I never felt better. Look at this, Super. Carburetor's in perfect condition. That means we save 350 because we won't have to get a new one when we do this again. Fuck face. I am never going to put even a sixteenth of a millimeter of that crap in my tank. I'm in a lot of pain. I need help. Well, of course you do, but Super Dave, we're all out of time. So this is Mike Walden with the fabulous Donald Glantz and the ever faithful Spanky Spangler saying so long, everybody, and see you next week. Uh, Soup, we've got uh, five seconds left. Anything you want to say about Garbain? No. I guess not. Hey, Don, one thing Gardein is good for, it's a great rainmaker. I think you're right, Mike. Come on, let's go take a look at the videotape. If only I were Bill Cosby and I could live off my reruns. Come on.